So last time we had a look at how we put small data sets into the Casio calculator. I've got my emulator here ready to go, already turned on, and let's have a look at how we now put large data sets into the calculator. So again, it is important that we know what to do when we're actually putting our data into our calculator and how to fix things if we need to. So let's enter the data, some data, but also know what to look for when we're on our screen here, when we're working through that particular problem. So here's a large data set. How do I know it's large? Well, I've got a frequency column here that tells me how many of each school there was. So there were eight sevens, 13 eights, 14 nines, 17 tens, 11 elevens, and seven twelves. And I don't want to have to put them in um, all eight sevens and then all 13 eights. I want the calculator to be able to make that easier for us. So to do that, we put it into statistics mode. So go to our mode button. There's our statistics number two. And remember, it's single variable or one variable. So we're after number one there. And you can see that we've got that already set up our frequency column, our score and frequency like we have there. But what if the frequency score wasn't on? Well, let's have a look. Um, we've got, sorry, shift mode. Um, that indicates that we can arrow down. There's my stats, which is three. And what I can do is I can turn my frequency off because it was already on. So that leaves me with just my score. But I don't want that. So shift mode, arrow down and we want our statistics and put our frequency back on now so let's do that and there we've got our score and our frequency just like our column has or our table has here so let's go into that seven eight nine ten eleven twelve press equals after that last one so we've got six different scores here, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But at the moment, what it's done is it's put a frequency of one for all of them. That means there's only one, seven, one, eight, one, nine, so only six scores altogether. But we know that's not the case. So let's come across and let's alter our frequency there. So in fact, before I enter that in, if I was entering small sets of data and my frequency column was on already, it's not a problem, it just tells me that there's one of each. Even if I put some scores over here, another seven, it would count another seven there. Okay, so don't panic if your frequency column's already on and you're putting small data sets in. But large data set, let's go and put, we've got eight, 13, 13, eight, 14, nines, 17, 10s, 11 11s and we've got 7 12s okay so that's how we enter our data we've got our frequency column on so what if we need to change the data well if this score here was actually meant to be a 13 I can come across to that change that to a 13 press equals but we know that that's not so Let's go back and put the right one back in. Um, what if we made an error with our frequency and it was meant to be a 6 and I accidentally pressed a 7 in there? So what we can do is come across to that one and put it as a 6. But that's going to change our thing. So let's put it back to the original one, which was a 7. So up 7 equals, now we've got our frequencies in there so at this point in time we've got our data in now that we've got our data in what if we accidentally turn off our calculator before we've finished well unfortunately my simulator here won't tell me or won't turn off so um, I can't actually show that on here but if you turn it off you'll still be in statistics mode the data that you've just put in will remain the only time your data will go is once you get out of statistics mode so just be careful of that or just be aware of that so that if we turn it off and we think, oh, we haven't finished with the question or there's something else we can do, 
then just turn it back on and your data is all still there. What we've got to be careful of though is once we have finished with the data, so if I press all clear, I'm still in statistics mode. If I try and use the fraction template, it's not going to work, just like I showed you in the small data sets. So we now have to get out of that by pressing our mode, go to one, and now our fraction template will work as normal. Okay, so that's how we enter in our large data sets. And I hope that makes it easier for you to look at next time. So go and fiddle and enjoy and make sure that you're using your calculator to the best that you can.